Okay, so welcome to this video on continuous functions, the concept of continuity uh, it, it between, of a function between two metric spaces. Okay, so uh, this video is going to be on continuous functions between two metric spaces, so continuous functions. So we know how important the concept of continuous functions is in real analysis, and we're hoping to develop an analogous concept uh, for any old metric space. So, here is our first metric space, x, d. Uh, so x is the set, d is our metric, and we have some other metric space, y, uh, d bar, and we have some mapping which ascribes to every point in here, so to every little x in here, it's going to ascribe some, uh, let's say, f of little x in here, so we've got this mapping here, which is f. And uh, the definition of continuity, so we're going to say that f, uh, which is going to map the big set x, onto the, uh, onto the uh, set y, uh, it's going to be continuous, is continuous, if uh, for all epsilon, uh, is continuous at a point x, at a point uh, x is an element of little x, so a specific point, if, if for all epsilon greater than zero, uh, there exists a delta which depends on where you are, depends on your position x, and depends on the size epsilon, uh, which is greater than zero, such that the um, uh, such that if y is an element of the ball uh, of the open ball around the point x of radius delta, uh, then it implies that um, that uh, f of y is an element of the ball uh, uh, of the open ball around f of x of size epsilon. So this is what it says basically. It says you give me any epsilon uh, you like, any epsilon greater than zero. I will construct for you an open ball of radius epsilon around this point. Uh, okay, wait, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so continuity at the point x. So you pick a point x in your big met in your set big x. And uh, it's mapped onto some uh, little f of x in your um, metric space y uh, with your metric d bar. Okay? Uh, so you have this function here. Okay, so now uh, this function is said to be continuous at the point a little x if for all epsilon greater than zero I construct you an open ball around this point f of x in this new other metric space, in this metric space, the codomain over here. Um, and basically, I want there to exist, there must exist, if if the function is continuous, then there must exist some delta which will depend on your position x and your uh, and your epsilon. So given your given this epsilon, I'm going to find you a delta uh, such that it such that the open ball of radius delta, such that this open ball here of radius delta, is completely mapped onto. Uh, I it, when you map it. If you take the image of this, if you take the image of this set, so f of this set, which is the ball, the open ball of um, uh, centered around x of radius delta, if we define that to be equal to all the points y is an element of big Y, such that um, such that um, uh, no, actually, better way of defining this, f of x. Um, which is an element of y, such that x is an element of uh, the ball center that, uh, th let's change that to little y. Okay, so all the li little f of little y, which are elements in here, such that little y is an element of the ball center that x of radius delta, got there in the end. Okay, so basically, if you map every single point in this open ball here, and again, it should not have that boundary, it should be a dotted line, if you map every point in this in this, um, in this open ball, on top of the point that it goes onto in here, it must be mapped somewhere into in that in that um, epsilon ball, in that epsilon neighbourhood around f of x. Uh, so basically, if I give you a ball of radius epsilon, uh, an epsilon neighbourhood around the point f of x, you must be able to find me 
an open ball small enough such that all of the points are mapped into uh, this epsilon ball in the codomain. That is the definition of continuity uh, 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 but of a function between two metric spaces. And similarly to in the case of uh, similarly to in the case of um, similarly to in the case of the real numbers, uh, a function f which maps big X onto Y is continuous everywhere, is continuous on the entire metric space, it is uh, on the entire metric space, metric space, if it's continuous at every point, if it's continuous, it is continuous at every point, little x is an element of big X, at every point, little x, which is an element of big X. So that's the definition of global continuity, if you like. Okay, uh, so in the next video, what we'll do is we'll see the definition. This is, this is what we could call the metrical definition of continuity. Metrical definition. Okay, and in the next video, what we'll do is we'll see that, that you can define the notion of continuity, in fact, on, uh, a, uh, on a function between two topological spaces. And what we want to make sure is that if you, if you look at these two metric spaces and think of them as generating topo topological spaces, so let's say uh, x u and y uh, u bar, so if you think of them as generating their natural topological spaces, we want to make sure that this definition uh, completely coincides with the uh, definition of, uh, top of, of continuity between the two topological spaces. I, we want to make sure that if, if, uh, if f uh, is a function which uh, is continuous in the topological sense, uh, then it is also going to be continuous in the metrical sense, and if it's continuous in the metrical sense, it's also going to be continuous in the topological sense uh, with relation to these natural topologies that come uh, from uh, the definition of a metric space, being, uh, well, the metric space structure being defined on these sets.